Author's note, I wrote this chapter on a train! Sonic High School, Chapter 15. Shadow and Silver ran ahead into the school, but Sonic stopped to go to the bathroom. He had an enormous, bad-smelling poop. <laughs> Sonic knew he must be very emotional because this poop was so big that he tried to flush the toilet. The big poop just folded in half and clogged the toilet easily while looking like part of a really fat pretzel <laughs> that she would get at the mall. Not like the little ones in bags from the supermarket. Sonic just said, oh, forget it, and ran out the very stinky bathroom after Charmy B. Sonic passed Shadow and Silver, who were in different halls, going different ways, but he did not pass them at the same time, because they were in different hallways. Because even though Sonic was very fast, he could not actually be, actually be in two places at the same time. Sonic went one way, and Shadow went another, and Silver went another way, and it kept happening. One room that Sonic looked in was the art room. It made Sonic remember having art class with Charmy B. Charmy could not control his gay urges. <laughs> like everyone else. <laughs> Okay, and used all the colors in every picture, where Sonic just liked to use blue, and Amy used pink, and other people were also normal like that. You can only use one fucking color. Sonic thought about how this, <clears throat> how this was, and that it was still surprising that Charmy could do something like this. Shadow went to a room, among other rooms, and that was the car fixing room. <laughs> Shadow remembered about how he had a car fixing class with Charmy, and Charmy was really terrible at fixing cars because it was not in him to do something like a, what a man would do. <laughs> okay, Shadow thought it was weird how Charmy could do something like that, and who could now do something like that was so man do something that. Hold on, let me try the sentence again because it is Shadow thought it was weird how Charmy could now do something that was like that so manly like killing. <sighs> That took a bit. One room that Silver ran into was the gym room, where Silver one time had gym class with Charmy B, and he remembered how Charmy was positively the worst at sports and at being an athlete, so it made him wonder why Charmy could do anything that was actually doing something, like killing. So he, he, he does stuff now. Sonic and Shadow and Silver ran around and around. Eventually, they just got tired and could not find Charmy at all. Charmy was trying to be a murderer, but they were just tired and tired of looking for him, so they sat down in chairs and didn't do anything else now. Back at the front of the school, Amy decided that she needed to go to the bathroom. Rouge went with her because she had to go too, and Cream stayed with Knuckles and Knuckles Jr. and Tails, who was trying to become awake. <laughs> he, he's trying. Most people had left the school by now, but there were still some waiting to get into the women's bathroom. At, but Amy and Rouge did not feel like waiting in line, so they went to the men's bathroom, where normally it, it where normally it was that people inside were men. The men's room where normally the people inside are men. Okay. Amy and Rouge were not men, so this was against the rules. As soon as Amy opened the door, the super powerful smell hit her in the face. It punched her right in the nose because it was Sonic's poop smell. Oh my god, screamed Rouge. What is that smell? I I have heard this smell a million times before. <laughs> Said Amy to Rouge, who could say this because she was Sonic's girlfriend, meaning that she had been around Sonic pooping. Lovely. This smell is Sonic poop. <laughs> Amy and Rouge went to the bathroom anyway because you can never get a break when it comes to going to the bathroom. No matter what, you always end up going even if you try not to and all day and all night. And they were holding hands above their noses and then Amy opened up a stall door and inside that was a shocking thing to see, but she saw it anyway. It was Charmy B. Ah, it's you, screamed Amy, in a scared and shocked way. You're a murderer. Not yet, said Charmy, but I will be by... S <laughs> but now I will... <laughs> now I will start to be by killing you. <laughs> Charmy jumped at her from inside the stall and into Amy, and they fell back, and Charmy was on top, and he was holding a knife, and he was about to cut Amy apart when Rouge came over and kicked Charmy, and he flew off her body and into the wall by rolling. Take this, said Rouge, and she flapped her bat wings at Charmy and pushed all the horrible poop air at him, and it went into him. But then Charmy got up, and he ran right at Amy with his knife and cut her in the leg because he is short, and then she jumped back. Ow, said Amy. I'm dying. Amy fell backwards and got dizzy. No, stay with me, said Rouge. Use your special move while you can. Special what? Amy knew what Rouge was talking about, so Amy used her special attack. Amy shouted, Girl blood. Oh, God. Girl blood. 
legs. Oh my god. And opened her legs and a stream of blood hit Charmy. Since Amy was good at being nice and caring, which is using your heart, Amy was able to speed up her heart so fast that her blood pumped out of the wound in her leg. Okay. Like a super soaker. And fill, like a super soaker filled up by vampires. I seriously thought that was going to get a lot worse. The blood hit Charby in the face. And oh buddy. And he really was. And it was steaming and burning him. And he looked like he didn't care. And Amy looked shocked. And yelled, how can you be so invincible? Then Rouge said, I bet he can't handle my special attack. Romance bite. And then Rouge flew with her bat wings. And went over to Charby. And bit him right in the neck. Using her fangs. And trying to make him fall in love with her. But it did not work. It's not working, cried Amy. He must have superpowers. He's going to kill us for sure. Amy and Rouge tried to get away from Charmy, but he kept blocking them and coming at them with a knife. And they were finally trapped in a corner, holding onto each other with their best <laughs> with their best in show boobs. <laughs> Pressing up against each other and looking like the sexiest Legos ever. <laughs> okay. Uh, then, all of a sudden, Tails came into the bathroom and threw a piece of electronics at Charmy. And Charmy looked at Tails and said, But you bzz, are bzz, supposed to bzz, be bzz, bzz. And then died right there. And Tails went over to Amy and Rouge and definitely stopped for a second to check out the boobs without them knowing. But then he stopped and said, You are safe now. That was not Charmy. It was a robot. A robot? How did you know, said Amy. Tails, being the smartest, thought it was a question for idiots, but said, I know as soon as Charmy would... <laughs> I knew as soon as Charmy was not being hurt by Sonic's poop stink. <laughs> I was watching from the door. Normally, Charmy would have complained and passed out from smelling that, but he did not, so I knew as soon as that happened, I went and got my robot killer device for my electronics. Wow, said Amy. Thanks. And kissed Tails on the cheek for a reward. Really, Tails, you saved us, said Rude. And kissed Tails on the other cheek. And this shows you that you can be cool by being smart. Except if you are a nerd ass. <laughs> Tails and Amy and Rouge walked out of the bathroom and back to where Cream and Knuckles and Knuckles Jr. And soon, Sonic and Shadow and Silver came back. And they were all back together. And the lunch lady was the only other person there. And she saw how tired they looked. So she made them all a bunch of chow meat sandwich. Well, I don't know what a fucking chow meat sandwich is. And they all ate until their tummies were gonna burst. And then there was time, all the time they was eating, though, Sonic thought, but then where is Charmy? And who is the guy who made the robot? And so many other things. High school trauma is just so crazy to be a part of. Wow, it's so crazy, you guys. The story kind of hurts me. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and come back again, and we'll do more of this uh, stuff, you know, okay? I love you. Okay, bye.